Uh, if uh, you weren't here on Friday, you were sure. On Friday, we learned those three. Okay, we uh, did these, uh, we proved those three things, the four things on Friday right there. Okay, I'm going to start with the left hand side uh, for this here right now. Good. Okay. Alright, so let's start with the left hand side. How do I do with the left hand side here? Good. Do you do like sine plus cos times sine plus cos? Good. Or plus sine plus cos times sine plus cos? Okay, so our first strategy will always be to choose the more complicated side, all right? Just so you don't want people on everyone here today, okay? So I, I, we're just going to go around the circle here. Clint, I'd like you to show off your great math skills and foil out those two brackets, please, with the first set. So this, this with this. Uh, no, not really, though. Okay, close, though. So let's foil it out. What do we get? Sign times sign is? Yeah, great. Sign squared beta. Good. Uh, sign times cos is? Cosine sine is? Cos theta sine theta. Does it matter which one goes with? Yeah, I'm going to write it as sine theta cos theta. So you said good. And, and then two boards here. Yeah. And then cos times cos is? Cos theta squared. Good. Excellent. All right, Jennifer, can you do the same thing with the second bracket? Sine times sine is? Sine squared something? Yeah, sine squared theta, good. Uh, sine times negative cos is? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we help her with sine times negative cos. Oh my goodness. Okay, am I just giving up here today, guys? I need you to be awake here. Please. What's sine times cos? So we help me. Thank you very much, okay? What is negative cos times sine? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to write it like this. And negative cos theta times negative cos theta. Right. Close? Positive cos squared, because negative and negative is positive cos squared theta. Okay, I'm going to try and be sensitive today, if I can, which is not going to be easy for me. All right. Are we sort of okay where all that foiling came from? So it's just a foil. All right, Emily. Will anything cancel now? Um, okay, what? Nope. Does it cancel? Will anything cancel? Yes. Let me help here. Will cancel? Go ahead. Yeah. If I take a look here, I have a positive sine cos, I have a positive sine cos, and I have a negative sine cos. The same way, I have a positive sine cos and I have a negative sine cos. So it's cancel beautifully. Now, just writing down with what's left, what I'm doing now, I have equal sine squared theta uh, plus cos squared theta. So that's the that is gone, that is gone. I have another sine squared theta, and I have another cos squared theta. All right, now for the magic. Tristan, what's the magic here? And what gonna help, Tristan. Oh, like, you, guys can't, you guys can't give up here. Can't give up. Okay. Oops. Okay, somewhere on the left hand, right hand board, I see sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. Hey, go ahead. It equals one. Okay, so every time I see a sine squared theta plus a cos squared theta, I can plug in a one. So I'm just going to call the x to equal to one. And we're going to plug in this and we're going to call it one. Yeah, you do this way for the right one. 
What? Yes, we don't need to do it. That's what you're doing. You just keep violating like two sides of where you're at. Um, so yes, you could have you could have done um, two sine squared theta plus two cos squared theta, but then you have to do two times like that, and then two to work out. Okay. Okay. Now I want to just do nothing but examples today, so I need to make sure the basic idea. So the general idea for this is expand or simplify when possible. Okay. And if you can turn it into something that can cancel, do it. Okay. Looking at the right hand side of this question. Uh, when I saw this is equal to 2, I knew in my mind I thought, well, that's got to be 1 plus 1. If I know what 1 equals, I know what 1 equals, right? So it's got to turn into that. Okay. If you're struggling with this, that's okay. We'll do nothing more work examples today. Hopefully yesterday was somewhat productive for you. Okay? Yes, Rob, go. That's like your therefore statement. Okay? So QED means left side, uh, LS equals RS means left side equals right side. QED stands for Quanti Rock Demonstratum. Which is that is what's to be proven in your stamp test. Okay, it's your stamp approval, which is like to try and break this proof. You can't do it. It's your therefore statement. That's what it is. Yes. Could you do the same? No. Definitely can't. You definitely can't. You definitely can't. Definitely. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go through uh, the questions that I got asked from last night, and then we'll uh, go through here. So the questions were um, factory to the following. Oh yes. Oh yes. 2A and B. Okay, so what the factor of this one is here? Now this one is a little bit tricky, um, for sure. All right, but I'm going to do a little bit of. Let's do that, man. You should bring this down. Okay. All right, so this is the factoring thing. Now I'm going to show you the uh, advice. All right, so I'm going to do this the same way I did when when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to switch into theta. It's this cheat that I stole off the, off um. Uh, some of the teachers and other teachers access for everything. I like thetas, okay, so I would do that. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I would do when I was a kid. Um, I don't like factoring sines and cosines, but I do like, uh, let's say, x's and y's. So I'm going to say set What's that going to change my equation into? If I replace every time I see a sine x, I change it to an x, what sine squared is going to be then? X squared. We already have another x squared. Okay, so what sine squared x is going to be what then? X squared, and what's cos squared x going to be? Okay, now this for me is easier to factor. Okay. How would you factor this now? x squared plus x squared and y squared. Matt, I think we're back to you somewhere back there. How do you factor something with only two terms? What do we do? Mm -hmm. Difference of squares is one, but this one isn't going to be difference of squares because there's no negative. What's the other way we factor something with only two terms? Common factor. Common factor. What's common between x squared and x squared and y squared? Good. So what's left inside the brackets? Okay, they didn't have to do it like this. You could have just done the original way. Now I'm going to sub back in, but I'm going to say, but x equals sine theta and y equals theta. So this turns into uh, sine squared theta uh, y plus cos squared theta. Does that make you that though? Like actually they said this and this is not yes. sine theta. Yes, yes. That's the proper form to do it. Because we're going to get into factoring these things later on and like solving quadratic and all that stuff, okay? But this is just to do that. Okay, please? So the first x squared plus, you yeah. just get rid of that because you're Well, it's a common factor, right? So think of it, you're dividing both of them by x squared, right? I'm not really actually getting rid of it. Just think if you were to foil this out, x squared times 1 is x squared, right? And then x squared times y squared is x squared and y squared. Right? So you're just like dividing both of them by whatever. 
Now, you don't have to do that substitution thing. If you can look at this and say, yeah, they both have a sine squared and factor it out, then do it. Okay, because some people can do that. Okay, they like sines and cos, they can say, sine squared comes out, you'll have to look at one plus cos squared and then go away from there. Now everyone can. Let's move on to D, which is another cool question. Okay, D says, um, Do you have to put the five plus five, five, five yes. in between those things? Okay. Um, sine squared x, I call sine squared theta if that's okay, minus two sine theta uh, plus one. Okay, this, uh, Um, so this one here, I'm going to do the same thing, because I don't like to look to sine squared to sines. What am I going to substitute this time? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to say set x equals sine theta. And you don't have to do this, but this makes it look a lot easier. Can someone other than Liam be brave, please? Yeah, go ahead. What does that turn into? X squared. Yeah. So again, you can look at it and say, wow, that's obviously a quadratic. The top one looks sort of like a quadratic, right, because there were sine squareds. But this one here now looks exactly. So I'm up to Cole, I believe I'm up to you. How do you factor x squared minus 2x plus 1? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's good. Uh, not quite different to squares. That would be just x squared minus 1. This would be like your M and A thing, right, for now? Oh, as long as you don't have to work, OK? So the M should be 1. D should be minus 2. That should be negative 1 and negative 1. My most people following along here, right? Is that right? Can I factor that properly? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's factored properly, right? Yes, I hope. All right, Liam, what do we do now? Let's say, but. You could say sub it back. Yeah, okay. as, long as, as long as you justify what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. You can just write. Yeah, if you can do right from here, you can probably go right from there if you want to, right? They can show me the bug find the ad though. So that's just factoring for practice. I'm going to pause in the video and I'm going to come back here right now.